Within the latest April 2nd hotfix, we saw a buff applied to the Vladov assault rifle I don't believe I've covered in the past, so this is a first for me. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the April 2nd hotfix saw a whole host of changes be applied to weapons across the board. Today we check out one of those weapons and it's called the Damned. So this Vladov assault rifle belongs to a family of quite decent assault rifles like the Lucian's Cool, the Dictator, the Shreddy Fire, the Phaser, the Ogre and the Sickle, which we all know acts more like a shotgun. So one of seven assault rifles in the Vladov family, but this is by far the least I've seen about, talked about, even used, and this could indeed be the reason this received a buff within the April 2nd update. So the change to this weapon took it from a damage stat value of a 1.25 up to a 1.7. So it received, I believe, around that 25-35% to 35 damage buff mark. Now this damn is a weapon that comes off in all elements or no element at all like the one I am using here. And it's party trick as well, I believe, like many Hyperion weapons, when you aim you get a shield. Other than that, I myself couldn't find anything else this thing offered in terms of something unique. And to be honest, the shield isn't even unique as that's a standard feature elsewhere. So really, going into this test and review, I didn't really have much to look forward to. Now using this for a few hours in a few different places, I instantly felt that this indeed was a decent assault rifle. It's one of those all around weapons which is maybe average at everything. It hasn't got amazing damage, but it's very accurate. It doesn't have a gigantic mag size, but it does have a decent fire rate. And in fact, using it within the slaughter shaft, I was surprised with how it handled itself. It was doing very, very well against even the toughest enemies here within the slaughter shaft. And many weapon I have tested here against the same enemies within the same build did fall short a lot of the time. This one though was doing well. Well, that was until it ran out of ammo. And yeah, did I mention that already? This thing is ammo thirsty. So using it for a decent period of time, what I feel this weapon is, it is a great backup weapon. The fact they also come offering all elements too, it could indeed be worth getting a full set of for backup purposes. As if you need an assault rifle for build purposes due to skills on mods etc etc, there ain't many other assault rifles in this game which can help you in this case in terms of offering all elements. I can think of one off the top of my head which is also a great all round weapon, which again comes in all elements and that is a doll's chaos which I rate highly. Now would I say this is on par with that? No I wouldn't. The fact the chaos has an effective trait in causing enemies to explode upon death means it's probably the best all around assault rifle in the game which comes offering all elements. But the damned ain't too far behind. It's a decent weapon but unlike how I think the chaos would be a much better go to weapon, this damned I feel will make it worth being a backup weapon for any build like I said, concentrating or having room where you need a decent backup assault rifle offering a certain element. That is what this is. Now this damned is a weapon you can find I believe across the planes of the game as it's a world drop but it's dedicated boss drop is agonizer 9000 within the guts of carnivora so if you want it people you know where to get it. So yeah my thoughts on this weapon it's a decent assault rifle for sure one of the better all round assault rifles in the game but for me its benefits come as a substitute weapon not something I believe you can base a build around. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.